This morning, I'm going to talk about binding. Binding is a piece of plastic that is very flexible. It will wrap around the mandolin. You cut a channel on the top and the, the, the back of the mandolin, and the binding goes in to that channel and is glued up. And it serves two purposes. One is aesthetics. It does look good. It has a little, little flair to the mandolin, but, but more importantly, it helps bind the top and sides. And you can see that I've already cut this channel here. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. But the end grain of the bottom is exposed. The side grain is exposed. And the end grain will absorb moisture. The side grain is soft. It will dent real easy if you were to drop it or bump it up against something. So what happens is the side of the mandolin is thin, very thin. There's not enough surface here to glue the top and back. So you use a piece of kerfing. It's called kerfing because it's a thin piece of wood that has these little kerfs cut in it and it makes it flexible. You can bend it around the mandolin. But what it does is it provides a little bit more surface that you can glue the top and the back to. And while that's, that's a nice area of, of a glue surface there, it still needs a little bit more strength and that's where the binding comes in. It helps bind the top to the, to the sides. So I've already cut the, the channel for the, for the top. I still have some hand work I'll have to do here. And I did it with a router that sits in a, 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 an overhead carriage that drops down, and this sits in a, in a carriage, and, and you spin it around. It's the way I, I bind my guitars. Um, but I didn't like this method at all. In fact, I made a mistake, made two mistakes. I cut this channel a little deeper than I intended, and it was because of uh, just not being aware on my part. I, I, I let my mind wander for a second. And the second mistake I made, if you'll be able to see this, but there is a, right here, there's a little half moon that I cut. Purely mistake, let the router get into it. And so I cut another little matching piece and glued it in. Hopefully when I stain this, uh, you won't be able to see it, but um, it's, it's noticeable now.